All right, we're live. Hey, we did it. Hey. Feels like just well yesterday we started this. So, who, who, <laughs> stayed up, who stayed up the most? I think Leone stayed up the most. Was it Leone? Leone. Leone and I were tied. Leone, Not by much. Leone, yeah. Leone stayed up longer, if that makes sense, because she was up to like five or six in the morning by the time she crashed the first time. Mm-hmm. I tapped out at like one thirty. So, yeah. yeah. I, I think but one of the Ian, Johnny's Ian was around a lot, too, though. He wasn't. Yeah, Ian, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Is Ian on now? Ian's on now, yeah. He is, so yeah. There we go, Ian. All right, excellent. I think, I think what I like the most about this year, um, I mean, apart from the talks that were awesome, and I have a couple of favorites that we'll loop back to after, um, is if you look at all the ID24 thumbnails down the side, All, all of the thumbnails. Uh, sorry, I, I, had, I had things playing in the background, and it was like me talking to me, and I, God, I sound awful. Um, what I liked was if you look at all the thumbnails down the side of the thing, it's all big bearded dudes. <laughs> it's like the whole thing is like Ian and me and Chris O'Brien and and Bryce, who doesn't have a beard anymore, but he's still a big dude, and it's just like it's just ridiculous. That's your thing, Billy. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's funny. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think Henny and Cordelia and I might take take some umbrage at, at being lumped yeah, into the hairy ag- dude category. I, uh, right. Know. I would agree with that, Leone. I mean, that's not fair, <laughs> right? That being and said. By the way, and, and by the way, Henny did stay up, like, with an hour to go before her presentation, right? <laughs> she that did, yeah. That was pretty yeah. rough. She yeah, did. Henny was around, too. She was cool. So listen, we've we've got a few facts and uh, figures to share from from yeah. the past uh, little while. If you can uh, spare me a few seconds, we had one caption writing company, ACS Captions, who've done an extraordinary job uh, making sure that all the talks, all the chat, all the chaos, and the conversation um, were as accessible as we could make them. And they captioned us through 16 hosts uh, who came together from TPG to uh, keep the day flowing, ensure all the mechanical hiccups got smoothed over and made sure everything just uh, went as it was supposed to go. Uh, They introduced 24 speakers who, of course, really did make the day in no uncertain terms. They came from 11 different countries. And as far as we're able to determine, we were watched by people from at least 65 different countries over the 24 hours. Uh, They came from uh, five different continents. And between them, they shared more than 1,500 tweets. Uh, As we've just discussed, I think between the organizing team, we had about 10 minutes sleep. So we'll count ourselves lucky for that one. Uh, From the people who tweeted, there's a few people we want to name check, uh, specifically Amanda Rush, uh, Scott Vinknell, Gunnar Bittesman, and Sylvie Duchateau um, for just, A, being up seemingly for as long as the rest of us have been and tweeting. Uh, In Amanda's case, well over 100 tweets uh, to support us through the day and keep the message kind of flowing around uh, Twitter, which was just uh, absolutely extraordinary. Uh, I think for me, the tweet of the day has to go to uh, Gunnar, who said that uh, responsive design is adapting a design to an unknown browser. Inclusive design is adapting a design to an unknown user. And I think that really sums up everything we've kind of pulled together today. So thank you for that one, Gunnar. We have one last uh, little bit of news I want to share with you. We announced at the very beginning of the 24 hours that we, um, thanks to the generosity of the team who's worked on this and all our speakers, uh, we're going to make a donation to NV Access, who make the NVDA screen reader. Uh, so on behalf of the ID4 20, uh, ID24 team, uh, we'd like to donate um, 1,200 American dollars, which amounts to about 1,600 uh, Australian dollars to the NV Access team. So. Um, yeah, we'll be getting that one over to you guys uh, down under as soon as we can uh, get the paperwork sorted out. Uh, and I think I that's it. So that thank you, guys. Um, you've done an amazing job. You really have. So I raise my glass to you all. Thank you very much. Is that the uh, bottle of frog, the frog water? Did you see a frog water? A frog bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? No, this is gin. Yeah. <laughs> Straight gin. It's like... Yeah, it's just neat gin at this point, yeah. Excellent. I, I've still got my, my, my suspect copper mug. Um, There's nothing suspect about it. We all know yeah. what's going on. 
I, I think it's called <laughs> a, a, a jettison, I think. <laughs> I, we've got some other news we wanted to share too. We decided because we had a lot of fun um, and we really loved engaging with the community over the last 24 hours that we don't want to just do it once a year. So we also don't <laughs> want to stay up for 24 hours at a time more than once a year. However, we will be announcing a series or we are going to announce right now a, a new series that TPG is going to put out called ID1. So it's going to be a series of one hour webinars uh, with different people from around the community hosted by various TPG folks. Uh, we're going to do these. We're going to start probably quarterly, so look for the next one and probably sometime in the fall. Uh, and we're going to roll these out every couple of months. Uh, it's just our way of engaging with the community and, and just being here and keeping the party going uh, year round. So we look forward to Absolutely. doing that. And we look forward to, because um, mm -hmm. we got a lot of great submissions. And unfortunately, we only had yeah. 24 spots and we have a lot of amazing talks that we didn't get to bring on. So we're going to contact some of the speakers. Uh, we didn't have slots for it now, and we're going to bring them out, and we're going to have them speak throughout the year. So we're really excited about that and looking forward to it. That should be pretty fun. Absolutely. And that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And there'll be an opportunity to sleep between them as well. Indeed. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. good. We like or, or during them, and we're not going to judge. I mean, that's your call. Um, yeah. I have, well, I have we've, been told we've all got the day question. off tomorrow, so it's all good. Yeah. I have a question for Leone. Um, what were the five continents we had? Uh, Asia, Europe, Australia, Africa. Hang on, what have I got? How many more not continents? to make you work. <laughs> How many was not that? Antarctica. Australia, Europe. Not Africa. Antarctica. That's all you need to know. Uh, South America. So you need to count. You have to count New Zealand. Didn't we hear that? Yeah, that's Australasia, isn't it? No, New Plus. Zealand counts themselves as their own. That's oh, true. New, yes. New, yes. New Zealandia, a, aren't they? He's a, he's a, yeah, he's, I think he said he's a... I don't know if that's official. I don't know if that's official, but we're going to count it. He's a we'll Zoolander yeah, now. Special enough for us as a Zoolander. <laughs> You're right, actually. Yeah, okay, so six. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Gene. <laughs> yeah. Gene, favorite talk of the day. What was it? Or the 24 hours? Oh, I love Cordelia's talk. I think that was, that was my favorite. Yeah, I think she was the MVP yeah. for a lot of us. That was a pretty rad talk. Um, Gene stole my answer. Well, Adrian, Adrian, it was a great, talk it was a great kickoff. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, and I, I, I suggest, you know what, there, there we were, they were all great. Um, oh, honestly, yeah. I, Molly's was the one who got me, because just the practical advice, you know, tape your fingers shut, hold a bag of sugar, go yeah. stand on a crowded mm -hmm. bus and test your app. I love that, because you can just do it. <laughs> it's, it's, I, it's, I yeah. just pictured it's Leone all doing all of those at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Standing on one leg on a crowded bus, holding a bag of sugar with my fingers taped together, testing my app. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you supposed to pretend that the sugar's a baby? Or she said something about having oh, a hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. But it was just great, straight from the heart. You know, the things that everybody can do to to test stuff, and and I like that attitude. You know, when it comes to doing this stuff, let's make it simple and practical and achievable. It's good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I got to hand it to Matt because he stuck it out. I mean, this is his first ID24. He had oh. no idea what to expect, and we kind of just threw him into the churning water and said, "Hey, will you uh, oh, will you basically just show up and, and roll with the punches?" And he uh, it was pretty awesome. Matt, what did you think? I loved it, and and, and I'll say this that I, I thought the um, my favorite was probably focused on the seven dens of the seven sins of Aria, you know. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I thought that was a great um, presentation about the focus of round that you can really make damage if you do it wrong. Mm -hmm. Plus there were yep. good puns. Very true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think the, um, the, 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 the human shield award has to go to Mr. Johnny James for uh, navigating <laughs> one very difficult um, uh uh, segment where the, 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 the presenters, the four presenters, uh, Jana and Jen had connectivity issues and Johnny had to constantly step in and improvise uh, because yeah. they just kept cutting to the poor guy. It's like, yeah. So, is that like and the, Jen is and that Jana like themselves were staying cheerful as well. have a connection to the internet? <laughs> we, we don't know what happened. <laughs> it's just, cut yeah, on. just, just dialogue luck, I think. are not as good as they used to be. <laughs> yeah. Weird. The, the, my question for Bakira for Bakir is what movies is he going to do next year? Because he tried to drop three or four movies, and we're going to make him work he at did. this next year because he can't use the same three or four. 
Yeah, we'll get him back. No, I, <laughs> I've made the mistake of using Simpsons one year, and Carl still hasn't let me live it down. He's still teasing me about it. So. I think we had some more on the kind of the practical stuff from my point. I liked uh, Cynthia's, you know, talk about getting some some usability testing done. That's something yeah. so many companies struggle with, um, and they just really managed to again kind of make it practical and achievable. Yeah, and got such a wealth of information out of it. I I really love that idea. That was a, that was a really. That was a pretty prevalent theme this year, right? Like we we didn't mm. know it coming in there, but I mean, testing with you know users was. I mean, we've all known this. That it's something you should always do. But like just the fact that so many talks touched on that, regardless of whether or not the talk was actually about that, it's yeah. Yeah. sort of a, an interesting thread. Um, what was great mm -hmm. is that they were talking yeah. about it not as accessibility testing, but just testing, and I think that was really mm -hmm. yeah. important. And a nice blend of, you know, big companies, you know, we sort of heard from people at Microsoft and Starbucks and Facebook, of course, and, yep. you know, the different ways they're kind of doing this stuff, you know, and then down to people who are working as, as freelancers and individuals and every point in between. And I think it's nice to get that kind of cross cross mix of, of flavors. For sure. I mean, Jesse's talk was amazing, but I mean, pretty much everything Jesse does is amazing. She's yeah. like, she's brilliant. I mean, I've never seen a talk of hers that hasn't blown me away in some way. Like, right. Mm -hmm. I kept I kept thinking questions to ask her, and then three seconds later, she'd answer them before <laughs> you know she was that yeah. thorough with stuff. It was just, Damn it. Those, are just, those are just the Facebook <laughs> metrics going through your headsets, and they just they can read your brain. She knew <laughs> she knew what you were going to ask her. Yeah. So I have to admit, it, it, because I didn't get to watch every talk, I am planning on doing the um, the ID twenty four version of Netflix and Chill. Maybe not the chill part. And I figured I would just um, do the entire weekend, all, all 24 hours, I would mainline that maybe this weekend to catch up on the ones I missed. Because there are some good ones in there I still haven't seen. There are some fantastic talks. And I mean, even not just this year. I mean, like, we've we're, this is four years now. So we've got, what, 48 talks out there that are pretty awesome. incredible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of content. The one, of course, we can't forget is is Henny's talk on the inclusive design principles, which yeah. you know a group of us has been working on for a little while. We've had input from many of our friends and colleagues from TPG and across the industry, and um, yeah. hopefully that'll go out there and be a really useful resource. And and what was really remarkable is that I I missed Henny's talk myself, and when I woke up, uh, you know, she'd given the talk and we'd launched the guidelines or the, the principles, sorry. And already people were coming back and saying, "Hey, we can translate this into German for you." A guy called yeah, yeah. came forward and did that, and that's people kind of already, you know, submitting kind of issues and pull requests and all these things. So just that's again, the awesome. community coming together to get stuck in and, and make something, you know, even more than it was. It's great. Yeah. My goal for next year is to know what twenty-four times four is, because maybe I'll say ninety-six instead of forty-eight next time. <laughs> I don't. <think laughs> and the fact that none of you corrected me shows that we've all been awake for so many hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought it was 12. Can somebody, so I can somebody mute here. him? I mean, seriously. <laughs> what? <laughs> somebody said mute Matt? No. <laughs> mute Billy. That's what I heard. <laughs> no. Well, in about two minutes, you'll never have to hear from me again. <laughs> I doubt that. Come on. That's true. It's on Monday. Yeah. Um, We've already got a couple of minutes left anyway, so we should just uh, wrap it up here before our, our poor caption writer runs oh, yeah. out of steam completely <laughs> for the day. With all the over-talking going on. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I don't imagine it's been easy for any of our caption writers to, to do their jobs today, but we're immensely grateful for their talent and skill. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Indeed. I'd like to raise a gra glass to all of you and our captioners as well, because I think this came off really well. Overall, I yep. think it was a, a great production. Amen. <laughs> well Cheers, done, everybody. team, and well done, everybody out there yeah. in the community. Well Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Cheers. We'll see you next year. We'll end of that. See you next year.